The death toll has risen to six people after a weekend fire at a senior living facility near San Antonio, Texas. This incident has raised the question, how prepared are senior residences in the Upper Peninsula to deal with such an event? TV6's Rebecca Hemmelstein joins us now with more on this story. Rebecca? Well, Steve, earlier today I met with Marquette City Fire Lieutenant Jeff Green and Fire Inspector Ian Davis to look at how senior living centers would handle a fire like that one in Texas. We spoke about evacuation plans, what fire protection features they have in place now, and how different building layouts could mean completely different solutions. Near San Antonio, the Wedgwood Apartments are an 11-story complex built in the mid-60s. The building also has no sprinkler system, likely a reason six people were killed and a dozen hospitalized. But at a similar building like Snowberry Heights in Marquette, Fire Lieutenant Jeff Green says the multiple stories could be a good thing. Because everything is so compartmentalized, that allows us to keep people in place while we deal with the issue. There's also a number of features put in place to slow the effects of the fire before firefighters can respond. Some of the fire protection features they have um, are their building construction. Uh, they are 8-inch cement block walls. They have fire doors compartmentalizing the floors. They also have sprinkler system, fire alarm system, smoke detectors. Fire doors are triggered to release when the alarm goes off, keeping smoke and fire under control. And holding things really to the seat of where the fire is, that way we can contain the damage and, and limit the amount of spread. For the most part, it's safer, better for the residents to defend in place and just compartmentalize and deal with the issue at hand. But in a senior assisted living center, it's a different story. You could be dealing with people who rely on others to help get them out. Usually that means the fire is going to not be ignored, but be put as a second priority and that the people in the evacuation obviously uh, become priority one and more paramount and, and we deal with that first. Another interesting thing Lieutenant Green told me is that it's usually not the fire that will harm people, but rather the smoke inhalation. That's another reason they say it's safer for seniors to stay in their rooms and let the firefighters control the issue so there aren't people running out of the building as they're trying to get back in. Steve? Yeah, it's uh, good advice and also practice the fire drills, the fire escapes, because it's yeah. a good thing to know. They do fire drills, I think, monthly at a lot of these senior places. So Good thing to do. All right, thanks a lot, Rebecca.